So not to belabor the point, but I think I'm on a little bit of a roll with this. I apologize. You guys have probably heard me say this before. I've said it over and over again, and you might be tired of hearing me say it, but maybe just in case there's a voice inside your head that's telling you that weight's still important, I want to talk about it another time. I'm not going to promise it's the last time, but I'm going to talk about it at least the last time for in the next little while. So your weight is supposed to fluctuate. It's supposed to go up and down throughout the day, throughout the week, if it's for women throughout the month, that's okay. What you always have to look at is the trend. If you're trying to gain weight, then it should be going up. If, it's, if you're trying to lose body fat, lose weight, it should be going down. If you're just trying to maintain, then yes, there's gonna still be the fluctuations, but it should be fairly flat, the average of your weight. That being said, it's possible that your weight doesn't change and your body fat changes one way or the other. So I'll give you an example. Let's say it stays the same and you're doing resistance training, you're, you're, you're getting in a calorie deficit in some kind, um, but for some time, your weight stays the same. And you're thinking, what's going on here? Like, what's wrong with me? Why is it staying the same? Uh, what's happening though, you're fitting better in your clothing, your body fat's going down if you're measuring it. But what's happening is you're either matching the amount of body fat that you're losing with the muscle that you're gaining, like they're canceling each other out, or you're losing more than you're, you're gaining in terms of muscle, but uh, it's not moving enough to notice on the scale. Maybe it's like 0 0.5, 0 0.2, it's not really changing that much. So that's not to say that you're not seeing results. You are seeing results, but this is why we can't look at weight. It's supposed to go up and down. It's supposed to be harder to read than body fat percentage. And of course, all these numbers, they fluctuate. That's good. That means your body's functioning well. Your body has to like find its homeostasis, find its equilibrium all the time. And it's always counterbalancing what's happening in life, right? So it's okay. It's supposed to fluctuate. The more fluctuates, technically, the healthier your body is, the more adaptable. Now, the same thing can be said on the flip side. Let's say you go away on a vacation, you don't really do much resistance training, and you get back and your weight is stayed the same. And let's say you were just relaxing the whole time and like, I did a good job. And I don't want to demotivate you in any way, but I, I want to be honest about the numbers. Just because your weight's the same at the beginning of the week and the end of the week, it does not mean that the composition of that weight is the same. It is possible that you lost a little bit of muscle while you were there and gained a little bit of fat. Maybe it was one pound and one pound and really you just flipped it. It's not even a big deal. It's, it's actually not a big deal anyway. But it's possible that this weight is not um, the right number to look at when you're coming back. You want to look at your body fat whenever possible. You want to look at the measurements around your waist, around your hips, around your, your chest, your, your thighs, your arms, whatever it might be. You want to look at those um, measurements to see what's happening over time. And it's okay to be motivating with yourself. It's okay to sort of pep talk yourself and say that I did good. And I, of course, you always do good if you maintain the, the habits that are keep you moving towards your goal. But just like it's possible to lose body fat and the weight doesn't change, it's possible to gain body fat and the weight doesn't change. And sometimes that's the least noticeable when you first sort of stop working out for a little bit, you go on vacation, whatever it is, and you feel good about it, which is good. I want you to feel good, but I don't want you to get deceived, right? It's possible that you're gaining body fat. So in both directions, I think it's important. Of course, always look at the body fat percentage, look at the other measurements. Don't just look at weight by itself because it doesn't tell you enough story. Weight is kind of like a container. It, you have a si this size container. It, this container weighs 130 pounds. What's this container holding? We don't know. What percentage is fat versus muscle, air versus liquid, whatever. It, it doesn't tell you that, and this is why we have to measure it. And of course, the skills, you know the skills. I'm not saying that you should be down on yourself, but I want you to understand. I want to impart on you the understanding of the tools that we're using to measure because I think it's important. So remember, just because your weight's not changing doesn't mean your body's not looking different, doesn't mean your body fat's not changing, doesn't mean it's not functioning different. So we have to look at other measures and, f and weight might be, might be one of them, but I don't think it cracks the top three. <laughs>